Number nine, the key to better relationships, it starts in the bedroom, and we're talking about sleep styles. Mm. For example, you sleep hot, but your partner's always cold, so why not follow the old Scandinavian method? Instead of sharing one big comforter, you each have your own. Ooh. That's how they do it in Denmark and Norway. It's all about individuality, and huh. it comes in handy if you're an early riser and your partner doesn't... Uh, partner likes to sleep in, uh, you don't worry. Uh, if you feel like this could ruin the aesthetic of your bedroom, all you have to do is fold your individual comforters and put a big uh, bedspread on top of it, huh. which I know worried a lot of people. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Number eight, if you're watching your favorite show or movie at home and you find yourself having to rewind or turn up the volume, you're not alone. In fact, more than half of Americans say it's become harder to hear dialogue than it used to be. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Sometimes the audio is muddled or the background music is too loud. A recent survey found that more than half of Americans watch shows or movies with the subtitles on most of the time. It's very common with Gen Z and Millennials. While Gen Z and Baby Boomers are... Wait a minute, didn't I just say Gen Z and Millennials were the most likely to do it? Yeah, you did. And now it's a... <laughs> but they're also the least they're likely, the least likely yeah, to do it. Because it's 50-50. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> We're going to do number seven. Colonial men loved their calves, and we're not talking <laughs> about cattle. Online history buffs are obsessed with this theory. Back in colonial times, men liked to horseback ride. And who doesn't love a good waltz with a young lady? Mm. These were all they were also these were there were also ways of exercising and strengthening their calf muscles. Oh. In old art, we can see these men uh, posing with a calf sticking out. Oh yeah. It's Look like these that. are the early gym mirror selfies. But experts at Colonial Williamsburg dismiss the idea. They call it nothing more than a myth. They say if anything, the men were uh, trying to emphasize their hips and make them appear firm, yet mm. light and easy. Oh, mm. I agree with this one. Uh, now, gee, are you familiar with these? You know how the, the flats are back with the, the, the buckles on the top? Yes. I, I got a pair of yeah. them, you know, that look. Yeah. So I wore them, and my daughter said I look like a founding father. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I can't yeah. wear them anymore. Yeah. You know? Well, well, she's she's fair. It, uh -huh. She wasn't founding wrong. Father. Well, yeah. again, but also to be fair. <laughs> yeah. My well, hair and everything else looks like a founding father. Yeah, well, it's not a far stretch. Constitutional convention, <laughs> weren't you? Yeah. I'm definitely into cows. Yes. That's why I totally, like, watch the World Cup. I mean, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Me too. Cats uh -huh. have the best. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Paul wore a pair of culottes not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I said, yeah. don't wear those again around here. Yeah. <laughs> too many people too wrestling Ooh. at me. <laughs> uh, number calls. six. Uh, time for a game. We love games. And this one is called Is This a Monument or the Headquarters of an Evil Villain? <laughs> oh. Actually, this one is kind of both. This is the Buzludza in Ooh. Bulgaria. It's a monument to the Communist Party. It opened in 1981. Boy, that just opened at just the wrong time. The whole communism thing didn't work out too well. By 1989, the monument was abandoned. Even though it's now full of graffiti, experts say it's a great example of brutalist architecture. Yeah, that's mm. brutal. Ah. Mm. Look at this. Mm. All right, number five, a wedding dress might be one of the most important pieces of clothing you'll ever buy, and bridal designers say there's one important thing you should do before saying yes to the dress. Don't commit until you sit. What? It might look stunning while you're standing there, but yeah. you need to make sure you can bend in it, you can sit down for dinner, do toasts, and all the rest of it. Very mm. true. You don't want it because you can't stand all day. Yeah. yeah. This is important for when you're sitting on an anchor desk, too. Yeah. Oh, very I mean, because uh, yeah. it's like the chairs are a little too high, yeah. so when you're sitting down, it always accentuates the poop. Yeah. 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 If you're standing up, there's no right. 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 You are right. right. You are wise, Dee. <laughs> Number four, here's something uh, we could really use today, the anti-theft security suitcase. I'll let the video explain. Oh, good. Protecting money, the same team of backroom boys have come up with this ingenious device. <laughs> The idea, of course, is to let your attacker have the bag. And not only has he those arms to contend with, but a trapped hand, too. It's impossible for the thief to release his fingers, which in any case will probably be crushed, until the bag has been unlocked. <laughs> this means he can't get rid of it, nor can he take it very far. Wow. Your hand would likely be crushed. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is great. See, then 
the guy who owns the suitcase will probably get sued oh, because okay. they have pulled yeah, shut would, yeah. out and yeah. Yeah. someone yeah. in an eye. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number three, forget the bucket list. These days, people are having more fun listing their anti-bucket list. These are things they never consider doing. Things like swimming with dolphins Check. or any sea creatures. Check. Check. Bungee jumping. Check. Running a marathon. Check. Zip lining. Check. Or hooking up with <laughs> more than one partner. Where did that come from? Oh, well, well, it's it's I didn't hear a check that time. Check, check. I mean, what? My yeah. God, what a weird list. Everything is like these outdoors activities, and then the last one is yeah, very <laughs> indoors. <laughs> Some people are really into I that stuff. Raymond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which Ray? Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a mental image. We won't tell anybody. Uh, yeah. <sighs> All right, number two. Uh, now I want to cheer everyone up. Uh, there may be divisions out there. There may be suffering in parts of the world, and we're all... Uh, still working for a brighter tomorrow, but I know that the one thing that's true and dependable is this. The elephant hawk moth. Wow. It is certainly a, as beautiful of a creature as there ever has been on God's yeah. green earth. And uh, these guys are mostly in Britain or Ireland, hmm. but they also can be found in other parts of Europe and Asia. They have night vision to make them even more lovely, and they feast on the honeysuckle all day long. Oh. So wow. we just that's keep that's staring fun. at that. Let's give it another second or two. Yeah. It'll transform mm -hmm. your heart and soul. Wow. <laughs> mm. That's worth Can't it, isn't it? it? Sure is. Sure. I feel better already. I'm glad I was here today. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you were here. Yeah, here you're also. welcome, G. All right, number one, how about another uh, David Letterman clip like we ran yesterday? This is a classic stupid pet trick. Take a look. What, what will Augie do here tonight? I noticed you brought your own uh, dairy products out. We're going to give Augie some milk. Augie, we'll get some milk. All right, how do we do that? She's going to drink it out of my mouth. Going to drink it out of your mouth. You, uh, you may want to put the kids to bed about now. <laughs> uh, okay, what, what can we do for you? Paul has to hold Augie. Paul, hold Augie for us. Do you mind? Augie, this is Paul. Paul, this is Augie. Okay, all right. <laughs> You, you know you've done this at parties, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, go ahead and lie down. All right, now. All right, lose the I just banner. Right trick, Augie. Ma it's a magic trick, Augie. Here we go. Lay down. Oh, I fill up your mouth. I'll be very careful because I, I don't want to ruin your tie. <laughs> that, that's a beauty. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, boy. This is cool. Fill it all the way up. Okay, there you go. All right, here we go. Now listen, if you have something like this and you can do yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. you text us, get the text line or whatever, we can do that and beyond. Look, we have this whole 9 o'clock hour. We yeah. need to fill it with something. If yeah. you've got yeah. a good trick, come yeah. on. Yeah, let us know. Doesn't it. have to be your pet. It could be your sister. Yeah. yeah. No, whatever. We, sure. <laughs> we have that girl on who could squirt her mother out of her eye thing. So. Oh. Oh my gosh. We'd love to have it. But you. then the guy drank it. I, it yeah, yeah, he swallowed even better. it. It's now just that's so a gross. dog owner right well, there. Well, he had a dog tongue in his mouth. What's no. the difference? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. he swallowed right. the oh, That's the that night at night. Right. Brutal. Right there. <laughs>